Hi, I'm Andy Graham, Certified Fastener Specialist with BoltsandNuts.com, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use a bolt, nut, and screw thread gauge. These gauges can come in handy to help you determine diameter, thread pitch, and length, which are the three main measurements you'll need to help figure the size of a fastener. For example, this bolt we have here is 5 8 11 by 2. 5 8 is the diameter of the shank of the bolt, 11 is the thread pitch, and 2 inches is the length. Here on my desk I have some miscellaneous fasteners, and today I'll be using our exclusive BoltsandNuts.com thread gauge to determine their exact size. Many thread gauges are similar, but what's unique about ours is it measures both inch and metric and has raised thread grooves on the back to help determine the exact thread pitch. If you don't have a bolt gauge, ours are inexpensive and can be purchased directly on our website, BoltsandNuts.com, or from the link listed below in the description. Let's take a closer look at the gauge and I'll show you how to use it. All right, looking at this gauge here, uh, first thing we notice, it has all these side posts and these holes, and so we're gonna go through this and take a look at what's on here and what the features of this bolt gauge are. Um, so this bolt gauge is split in half. Uh, this is the metric side up top here. If you look, it has the metric diameter holes and a metric millimeter ruler. And then on this side, we have the inch. And if you look here, it's got the inch diameter holes and the inch ruler. Flip it over to the back here, uh, we'll see it has these indents which are for measuring thread pitch and these side posts which are for measuring nuts and these side posts, and actually it's just inch nuts, and these side posts will actually tell us if the nut is coarse or fine thread. Alright, so I'm going to take this bolt here and I'm going to try and identify this bolt by using this bolt gauge, the exact size of this bolt. So the first thing I'm going to want to find is the diameter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting this bolt into holes. Doesn't fit in 12 millimeter, loose in 14 millimeter. There's a gap. Uh, 5 eighths, 9 sixteenths, half inch. It's a nice snug fit, so that tells me that this bolt is half inch. So the next thing I'm going to want to find is the thread pitch of this bolt. So knowing that it's half inch, I'm going to come down to this thread chart here. And I'm going to look at the inch side. And for half inch, it's either going to be 13 threads per inch or 20 threads per inch fine thread, coarse or fine thread. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this gauge over and I see that it has the 13 thread pitch and the 20 thread pitch here. So I'm going to take my bolt and I'm going to start with the 20 and I'm going to put it into the grooves here and I notice it doesn't match up. So it's not fitting in, it should fit snug like a puzzle. So I'm going to come over to the 13 and try that. Yep, and it fits in there perfectly. So the, this is a half inch, 13 thread pitch, coarse bolt. Now the last thing I need to find is the length. And to determine length, uh, this is a hex bolt. To determine length, the only thing we're going to measure is everything that's going to go inside of the hole. So this bolt here, this hex head, is not going to go into the hole when I fasten it. So if I'm fastening this bolt in, so the length is only going to be measured from the underside of the head to the end of the threads. And when I put this bolt up here, like this, I can see that it's two and three quarter inches long. So this bolt I have in my hand is a half 13 by two and three quarter inch long bolt. Now I have another bolt here as an example. And what this bolt is, this is a flathead machine screw, slotted flathead machine screw. And flatheads, because like I said, a flathead, when you install this, basically the entire fastener is going to go in the hole. This, this flathead is going to sit flush like this once we put it in. So when we measure the length, it's going to be the entire length of this bolt, including the head. All right, so let's get started. First, let's determine the diameter. We'll start metric. Notice it's loose in the M8. M10, definitely way too loose. 
Uh, seven sixteenths, no. Three eighths, no. Five sixteenths, perfect snug fit. So I know this bolt is five sixteenths diameter. Next, I want to determine its thread pitch. Thread pitch for five sixteenths is going to be coarse, 18, or fine, 24. So I'm going to flip this gauge over and I'm going to go through the five, 16, 18. Oh, and I notice snug fit. So this is a 5 16 18 coarse bolt. And because, like I said, this is a, the entire head is going to go into your hole and sit flush on your application, this entire bolt is going to be measured overall, which is different. And what's cool about this gauge here is it has this tapered area where you can put your bolt in there. You match the head up all the way to the top, and I can tell that this bolt is a perfect inch and a half. So what we have here is a 5 16 18 by inch and a half slotted flathead machine screw. If we look here on this side, we'll see it's also 5 16 18 by inch and a half. So we know what size this bolt is. So now I'm going to try and determine the diameter and thread pitch of these two nuts I have here. And the nuts are done differently. We don't use these holes. We don't use these rulers, we're just going to use the side prongs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep going until it fits on the first one. Doesn't fit, fits. So this is a half, and because it pushes all the way down, it doesn't stop on the top, it pushes all the way down, that this is going to tell me that this nut is fine thread. If it goes all the way down, it's fine thread. For instance, I have this nut here, which is coarse thread. This is also a half inch nut. I already know that, and it doesn't go all the way down. So that is a half inch coarse thread. So half inch, half inch coarse thread is half 13. So this is a half 13 nut, and this one here is a half 20 fine thread nut. And there you have it. We were able to determine the size of these fasteners using just this bolt gauge. I hope this video helped you to determine the size of your fastener using a bolt gauge. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us directly or leave it in the comments below. Please like and subscribe for more fastener content. Thank you for watching.